What is the real reason banks would close out your account? IRS agents and bankers speak out. You want to know the facts. You want to watch this video. But I want to clarify some things here. I am a cash-based business, but since I'm online a lot, I'm, most of my stuff goes through credit cards, PayPal, and stuff like that. I did get a call from my credit union, but that was almost three years ago. And I was drawing out a lot of cash. I have since stopped drawing out a lot of cash, and often, I only do it whenever I need to. So it's not that I don't deal in cash. It's not that I'm caving to the credit unions or the banks or whatever. I am trying to survive as a business. I don't want red flags. I don't want audits. I don't want issues with my business. I've got employees here. This is my livelihood. It's very important. Also, I will continue to do videos on this subject if I have to, to make sure everybody's educated on this and know what they're talking about, because it's very important to my livelihood and my business. This is part of it. Part of a coin shop is having banks. Part of a coin shop is talking about cash, talking about economics. That all goes hand in hand. This is not just a coin channel. This is actually a coin dealer's coin channel. So anyways, coin help you? Yes. So I want to help you a little bit here with some more information on this. And we're going to read some comments and some factual information on this subject. So first off, great video, Daniel. As a former banking employee, I can confirm that what you said is true. It is a red flag with most financial institutions if any business or person deals in large amounts of cash. And this is primarily because institutions can be held legally responsible if they are used for money laundering purposes. When accounts are shut down, the institution would also shut down any related individual accounts as the individual could still use their personal accounts for money laundering if they are open. So you're just a risk. You, you put your whole family at risk when you do this stuff or anything that you shouldn't do. It's not hard to not do something to keep from being flagged. That's not the point here. I say financial institutions because credit unions are also subject to these regulations. So credit unions don't get you out of it. It says as well as full service banks. The institutions are not targeting coin shops or precious metal dealers. As some have said, they are targeting cash-based businesses. Since your business is mostly cashless, I would hope that your accounts would be safe from these closures. I would encourage everyone to have accounts open with multiple banks. And if you don't like how your bank treats your cash business, vote, your wallet, vote with your wallet and move your funds to a different financial institution. I mean... Right there. That's very sound advice. You don't like your bank, go to another one. Don't like how things are going, go to another one. Business is business. Banks are a business. You're trying to make money. You're trying to keep from losing money. That's all it's about. People want to put uh, other spins on it and information on it. I know the government wants to know what you're doing and what you think. So does Google. So does Facebook. So does any other business that wants to your money and make money or make sure you're paying your taxes that's what they're trying to do. They're looking for people who are trying to get out of it or people who don't want to pay it. That's the bottom line. Yes, that is a form of control, I suppose, but it's not the kind of control people are thinking here. As a banker, I can assure you it comes down to compliance. Banks adhere to the Federal Reserve and the Reserve adheres to the BIS. From a risk perspective, through annual auditing, it is safer for a bank to close an account in which they feel dabble in very risky business. This is why we designate businesses by coding. Some lean more towards red flags, some towards green. Never take it personal because you can see, as you can see, banks can be closed immediately. That's the way it works. Banks also are under the hot seat with the IRS. This is not the banks doing more so. It's the IRS and the government and legislation doing this. I want to make sure you're paying your taxes. You're not trying to evade your taxes in any way, shape, or form. And the banks have to report everything or they get in trouble or they get closed down or they get fined. You know, so it's basically like me. I don't want fined. I don't want audited. I don't want closed. I don't want my accounts closed or anything else to happen. I don't have to bend over backwards. All I got to do is modify things and do it just a little bit differently so that it doesn't create red flags. It's just called adapting. It's not called bending over for them. Okay, here we go. Here's another little little spin here, a little difference. They worked for a credit card company and for 15 years, okay? And internally, there was a behavior score that determined if you were profitable enough to do business with. If someone had a card for years and never paid a penny in interest or fees, that behavior was not profitable. So if you called to close your account, hey, just let you. If you were paying interest, you were worth keeping around so they could work with you to lower your APR or grant credit limit increases. So sometimes these things just come down to the banks not wanting your business anymore because you don't make them money or you cost them money. 
It's like a relationship that has no love. Just end it. And then down here, it says not many people know this, but your credit card rating is based on a system that tells how good of a mark you are. Guys, we're numbers, man. They want your money. We're a very consumer-based society. It's all about wanting your money. You know, money does control you, but you got to have it. So if you control yourself because you have to have money too. It's not just about, you know, them trying to control you. They just want to know what you want. They want to know what you buy, how you buy, and that kind of information. So it's very intrusive nowadays with the Internet. Our lives are no secrets. You have to go off the grid to keep out of this, keep away from this. And I mean off the grid. And even at that, they can still see you on a satellite. You're just not really going to hide from the IRS. I mean, you're just not going to hide from the government or anybody else for that matter. I used to work for the IRS, and we would receive cash transaction reports, CTRs, and FINCENs reports to audit for compliance. Banks are under scrutiny to make sure cash-intensive businesses do not structure their deposits by making multiple deposits of $9,999 or less to avoid the mandatory reporting requirements of cash deposits of $10,000 or more. In addition, businesses must also file CTRs for cash transactions of $10,000 or more. Some unscrupulous businesses have been found to make multiple deposits of $999,000 or less to just avoid the reporting requirements. This will get your bank account closed faster than anything. Banks don't want the notoriety of suspicious transactions. No one wants the IRS breathing down your neck, banks included. We would also audit returns with international bank accounts, either declared or undeclared, ownership of properties in other countries. Not declaring ownership of foreign bank account can result in substantial penalties. And now with digital currencies, it is even more challenging to audit returns. Get that. Digital currencies make it more challenging to audit returns. Let's think about that for a minute. Why are they would want you to go to the cash list if it's harder to do returns on it? Yeah, it's not. That's not what they're trying to do here. That's where people are false. Okay, they want the cash is easier to deal with. There's no uh, plans of stopping uh, making cash or printing money. The IRS exists to ensure that taxpayers report all of their income, regardless of the source, and pay the appropriate amount of tax and not one penny more. So the IRS is there to make sure you pay it. That's what it's about. It's just about money. If you make it out of anything else, that's fine. You can do that if you want to, but you're not going to be factual. It's about getting that money from you. They just want your money. That's all they want. They don't care about you. You die, you live, you born, you're gone, they're gone, they die. They want that money. That money's always going to be there one way or another. They want it. It's the people who think they don't have to report all their income or fail to file income tax returns that end up in the news. I'm one of the first to admit the tax code is cumbersome and favors the rich and the business. Think about that. Former IRS agent says that. It does need to be changed. It says here, but until the tax code is revised to treat every taxpayer equitably and close a lot of loopholes, which lobbyists have successfully got Congress to pass legislation, there will always be claims that the tax code is unfair. That's from a former IRS agent. You can't get better than that. Think about it, folks. It's all about your money. They just want your money. They want as much money from you as possible so they can get more rich or so they can get their taxes. It's that simple. And it's not just the IRS. It's all businesses out there. Google. Uh, Yahoo, Bing, you name it, all these companies, they want to know everything about you and how you buy things and don't buy things so that they can cater to you and throw those ads up at you. That's what it's all about. So let's put it this way. It's kind of funny you take a bank closure for coin shops and turn it into, you know, it's just a compliance, man. The banks literally have to comply so that they don't get shut or get uh, fined. So if your account's showing risky business, they're going to give you the ax, more than likely. So, you got other banks to go to, go to credit unions, whatever you got to do. Thanks for watching my latest video. Please like, share, and comment, and have a great day.